Uh, 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 okay, I'm sorry. Welcome back. With over 130 years of combined experience, the team at Pest Tech Hawaii offers customized solutions to eliminate pests and prevent their return. Now, joining us right now is Ian Mateo. He's our owner of Pest Tech Hawaii. Aloha, Ian. Hello. And I'm so glad that you put um, <laughs> Davey between me and I'm, that. I'm a little bit free. You know, so I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of leaning back over here. You brought some friends, brother. What you, who, who we brought? Who we brought today? So we, we, we brought a band. <laughs> um, <laughs> we talked about the coconut rhinoceros beetle the other week. But I decided to bring in live specimens that we caught. This is Paul. The other one is Ringo. And then there's a centipede in there. That's Yoko. Um, but this is a live. You want to hold it? Okay, can, can we? Are we allowed Did to? Did it bite? No, no bite. I mean, I don't like touch them, but Lena girl wants to hold oh. it. No, drop them on my lap, eh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How does it feel, Lena girl? It's and, huge. And I know it flies. You said it flies like what? Two miles? Or it can it, fly. It'll fly a few miles from its breeding site. I will. I will cap my hand like that to keep Look it from that. flying. But oh, yes. Okay. That's, that's the largest beetle species we have it's in massive. Hawaii. It's massive. It's massive. Wow. And you know when they when they fly, sometimes they just hit the wall. Or they hit the glass. Like they no. come full glass. <laughs> Knock themselves out, yeah. just gather them up. Well, you, can you see the little rhinoceros? Yeah, I can't. Says no, put them by me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to put you. I just wanted you to see the horn. I, I don't. I don't want you to freak out, brother. I see him. I see yeah. the horn. You nope. see the horn? But it, it's it's important. Um, it's big. To get some perspective. Yeah. On how big these things are, and these are the guys that are eating the palms and the coconut trees. You can. I mean, like Lena, girl, get um, you know, putty hands. So I've been at on the receiving end of that putty hand before. Wow. So she, yeah, it's, so I know it's, wow, that thing is massive now. Oh, bro. So, so Ian, so um, yes. I know in 2013, they were first discovered at uh, Joint Pearl Harbor Hickam Base, right? Joint Base Pearl Harbor, yeah. Just last week or two weeks ago, they discovered some in Waikolo on Hawaii Island. So it's uh -huh. it's spreading. It's, it's, yeah, it's, they're multiplying yeah. and they're also hitching rides to our neighbor islands. They were, and you know, when they were first introduced here, um, the state was trying to control them. Mm -hmm. You know, really right now, it's out of control. And the Already. state's like, you know, we cannot control it. It's it's just another pest. Um, you can still call them and they'll still try and, you know, keep data on different pockets, but mm -hmm. It's, it's here to stay, and once it's on Oahu, like it's gonna spread to the other islands eventually. But right? you can help us, right? Pest Tech Hawaii can help us mitigate the spread in our own backyard, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, we can, we can get rid of these guys holistically. Um, the treatments that we do for the trees uh, are holistic in nature, so we're not just spraying something on top of the tree. We're taking mm -hmm. care of the tree, and we're protecting the tree for up to about a year. Um, and we have programs that will protect the trees perpetually, but no, we can, take care of the tree. And once the tree is protected, you don't have to worry about those beetles in that area anymore. Oh, nice. And so, you know, in a perfect world, everybody would get together and treat all the palms, treat all the coconut trees. And that would essentially, you know, help to eliminate the problem as a whole. But, I mean, we'll start with one tree at a time. So. There you go. <laughs> and inside, you had Paul Ringo. It's Paul Ringo. And Yoko. And whenever the you centipede. Know, yeah, so that's Paul. <laughs> this is Ringo. And this is... Yoko. Oh, 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 she's oh, thick. She's thick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that one is healthy. Wow. He's healthy. That's a healthy one. That is. And is this is is there like a centipede season or nah, it's centipedes just, it's like all the time? It's it's all, all year long. Um you know, generally speaking Should I should I hold that one? No. <laughs> Brother, those things bite no matter what. Don't do that. You know, generally speaking, they really want to be outside. They hunt other insects. Um, ironically, these guys live pretty harmoniously. They really don't bother with each other. They stay on separate sides of the I terrarium. wish they would, then we would be able to get rid of them because we have so much centipedes. <laughs> they don't. They'll crawl over each other and they just don't mind each other. Um, you know, you see these big back legs that most people mistake for the, the pinchers, the pinchers or the, where the venom comes from. Yeah. It's not. The back legs are just to help grab stuff. The venom comes from the front. Um, and so there's actually, you know, uh, weirdly developed legs that the venom come out of from the front of the head. Oh. So that's where he injects his venom from. But you can help us get rid of that too, right? Absolutely. So yes. if we get centipedes, coconut rhinoceros, beetles, termites, or you can customize the plan for us, right, Ian? If it's a pest, call Pest Tech Hawaii. What we'll are you looking at me for? <laughs> well, the rhinoceros beetle is looking at you. He turned himself to look right at you. And I know you do. You <laughs> offer free estimates. How can people get a hold of you if we got coconut rhinoceros beetles or centipedes or any pests? You can go to our website, pthlife.com. You can call us 784-BUGS. Um, yeah. 
Thank you so much for bringing in these, <laughs> your friends over here. You're very welcome. Sure, Davey. Oh, no, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm sure. good. He's, he's, he's a big bugger. Ooh, Oi. No, like, leave me, yeah? <clears throat> and he left plenty of stuff on me, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're courageous. I'm very she proud is. of you. No, bro, she's I'm very proud of give you. Give me that centipede. She put, <laughs> she put my man all over his life. <laughs> Ian Matteo, thank you so much, brother. Pest tech, how about you right here? Now let's go ahead and check in with Daniel Tucker for a look at our Powhatta traffic. Daniel. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a rugged afternoon.